Welcome to something that I'm extremely excited about. This is the backyard that we're in. By the way, I haven't really shown this off, but look how beautiful and incredible this place is. So for me, it's been a while since I've skated this at all or done this trampoline skate thing. So I have five tricks in mind that I have to do, and that is big heel, tray flip, kick flip, switch flip, heel flip, and switch heel flip. That's five. Sarah has to do five tricks as well. And those what? are- Shove it up your butt. You disgust me. 360 shove it, back 180, big spin, switch pop shove it. Ollie? <laughs> Front flip missed, but that was almost first try. Oh, chilling in the club. This is for all the haters. Haters and all the fellas. I mean, just John. Yep, I'm the only guy. <laughs> oh my, almost first try. Oh, first try baby. Your front foot was like, what's up? And then you were like, what? Oh. So close, you freaking scoundrel. Can I put my gum in your mouth? Ooh, oh. haters, how you like me now? I'd be like, what? Oh. oh! Shout out to the, the Jonathan Hill for the sick gear. You know I got you Valentine's Day, what's up? Yep, there it is. Yep. Okay, yep. <laughs> so the other one was front side shove it, so make the board do a pop shove it the other way. Yeah, look at you. Oh, chilling. Oh, yep. Chilling. Boom. That was good. Oh, there you go. Front shove. Ah. Just getting my breath back. Oh, oh. Snap. How did that feel? Amazing. I think it's time to take it to the streets. Okay. I'm ready to get on a real board. Are you okay? Are you sure? No. Kinda. <laughs> How? What happened? Uh, the reason I haven't really filmed the rest of the day is because today is Valentine's Day, so we're sort of just celebrating it on our own. We're hanging out. We're not really going out and about, but I still wanted to vlog a little bit, play around on the trampoline, have some fun. So that's what we've been doing all day. Sarah got me. Well, hello. Welcome to another video. This is your boy, John Hill. I got some chocolates because I have a lovely girlfriend named Sarah Nietzsche. Woo. Is that... Sarah? Hi. Hi, guys. Oh, hey. What's up, girl? Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, you hooked it up fat this year. I got some chocolate. I got some vegan chocolate, actually. The first one right off the bat is a cyan pepper and cinnamon Mexican hot chocolate. Have you tried this? I haven't. Oh! But I know you like hot chocolate, and you're a dude for the spices. I am a dude for the spices. Hold on. It smells pretty crazy, but it actually kind of just smells like dark chocolate. Okay. So, you ready for it? Yep. Your life oh, it's spicy. It's spicy? It's weird. I mean, it's really good. It is 100% like normal dark chocolate, but has a spicy kick. Huh. I back up. This is like special California chocolate. What's it called? Where's the package? Next one. This one's the weird one. This is the whole reason this I pulled out. This is crazy. Out. This is the whole reason I pulled out the camera in the first place. It's Compartes yet again. Vegan kale chocolate. Sesame. Hold on. I'm sorry. Sesame and pumpkin seeds inside. What's gonna happen when I take a bite into this? I'm gonna become a uh, Californian. My lungs will be pure of oxygen. Oh my gosh. What's it look like? It kind of looks horrendous. Oh. Wow. That literally looks like a tree. Or the other side. Oh, the other side looks like chocolate. 
you know, as they say, for those who don't eat trees, I got none. Can't taste anything. There's too many things happening. I feel really? like I'm biting through branches. Mm, biting good. through branches. Really? It's good. Is it yeah. is it actually good? It actually tastes like chocolate. The only thing that remains at the end is the taste of the pumpkin seeds. That's the aftertaste. So instead of the spice, you get the pumpkin seeds. But no, it's actually really good. It's just a weird texture because you're biting through seeds. Oh, there's literally kale in there? Yeah. You want to try a piece? I think I would die. In order to stay healthy, maybe you can just eat that chocolate now. You don't have to eat like salads or anything. Or food at all. Yeah, if yeah. If I just keep buying this stuff, how much is this? Uh, like $13 per Each? Bar. Yeah, I probably just should just buy a salad. So much fun. I'm so glad that these people actually let us play in their yard and play with their stuff. They're so accommodating. I'm actually in their yard right now. They're inside and they're super cool with us just being out here and having fun and hanging out. So amazing host. But I did have a question on my channel the other day that I wanted to confront because it's a pretty typical question in skating, but it's by Matt. He was asking how long do your trucks normally last? Because people always ask about decks, they ask about wheels, and the truth is when it comes to a skateboard deck, if you're skateboarding all the time, that lasts the least amount of time. Your skateboard deck, you can break it in a few days, you can chip it in a few days, uh, but I would say typically if you're sort of average at skateboarding, they might last about two months or so. Trucks will probably last for a very long time. I've been using the same trucks for almost a year now, so trucks aren't a, they're an amazing investment. You buy trucks, they're gonna last you for a long time, especially with wheels as well. Wheels will last you for a very long time. I rarely change them out, so wheels, trucks, those last the longest, bearings last the next longest, and then your deck goes away the fastest. So if you're about to be a skateboarder, if you're into skateboarding right now, that's the order. What is up? This is the next day. I felt a little sick, so I stopped vlogging a little bit, but before we head out, I definitely wanna end this video with some footage submitted to me by all the homies out there who are crushing the game killing the game, and eating the game delicately. Thank you so much for submitting footage. Um, I'm super excited to watch this stuff. So let's uh, let's just start. Here we go, let me scoot over so you guys can see. Boom, there it is. Play. Start off with homie rolling up slow motion, kick up in the night. Oh, he's looking up. real good. Another guy rolling up doing a burial flip daddy. If you're new to skating, that's what that trick is called. Rolling up shirtless. You don't need no shirt for a board slide, brother. And he's proving that point right there. So another guy. Alia backs up up the hill with a white shirt. The kind of pants that I would. Oh, another backside flip? What a coincidence. I think the same kid who did the backside flip just did a pop shot off the curve. That homie rolling up with that tray bomb garage sesh. Dude, it's such a weird coincidence how the, these tricks happen in a row. Two tray flips. Impossible to hip at a really sick looking skate park. Take me square. Another guy, 50 50. Nolly this one out. That was sick. Ollie on flat with that Thrasher shirt. Got a girl skating in a puddle. Kickflip, that's insanity. And probably not good for your board, but you know what? You took the risk, and I appreciate you all the more for it. And then, oh! damn, really good friends up on the there. Sick. Oh, and then, God. You're so cool. <laughs> that was amazing. She sounded like I would sound talking to like Dale or Sarah. You're so cool. Dope. Thank you guys. And guys, on that note, I'm gonna end this video because I need to relax. My freaking brain, my face, my head, it's all hurting. I'm a little sick. I'm gonna heal up. But thank you for tuning in today. Thanks for watching these videos. I appreciate it like crazy. I'll see you tomorrow for another video because right now I'm doing daily videos and it is quite lithography, my friends. So stay tuned for more stuff coming out. Love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing.